Hello, I'm Bruce Schaefer with the Oregon Robotics Tournament and Outreach Program, a first affiliate partner known as ORTOP. I've been involved with First Lego League since 2001. It's not always possible for teams to work together in the same room to program and test their robot. Instead, the robot may be at the home of one of the team members or the coach or at some other location. The teams can meet using internet video conferencing services to discuss the robot game and the innovation project. But how can they work together to design, build, and program their robot? I'll assume you already have some ideas about using video calls to collaborate on the design in the building and focus on the programming and testing steps. The software for Mindstorm TV3 and Spike Prime sets can be downloaded at no charge from the LEGO Education website to a Windows, Mac, Chromebook, or some pad computers. But how can team members work together on the same program? One possibility is for them to create separate programs and upload them to a file sharing service like Google Drive or Dropbox, or send them to each other as attachments to emails. The team member who has the team's robot could then save the other members' programs and test them out. In contrast, this video focuses on a sharing mechanism that works in real time. Because the team members probably only have one robot kit, the robot being programmed will be at one team member's location or at a coach's location. The team members can work together from their individual locations, taking turns on who is doing the programming while the others ask questions and make suggestions. To make this real-time sharing work, we take advantage of a Google feature called Remote Desktop. This feature allows one computer to see and control another. Let's consider a simple situation where a team member has built a robot and dropped it off at the coach's location and another team member wants to program the robot. Most video conferencing platforms have a screen share feature and some like Zoom and GoToMeeting have a remote control feature. Unfortunately, Zoom and GoToMeeting don't support remote control when you use Chromebooks. Fortunately, when Google Remote Desktop is used in conjunction of, with these platforms, the team can get both features on all the combinations shown. So this video has focused on using Remote Desktop because it provides both features for all these combinations. The main requirement is the computers must have a recent version of Firefox, Edge, or Chrome for Windows, or Safari for Mac computers. In the next video, I'll use Zoom to demonstrate video conferencing with remote desktop for remote control. Your team can use other video conferencing software like Google Meets or GoToMeeting. To keep the next video relatively simple, I'll show only two people, a coach and a team member named Jane. Remote desktop can also be used for meetings of several team members with or without coaches. For instance, one team member can play the role that coach plays in my demonstration. Several team members can be on the video call taking turns using remote desktop to program the robot. 